Hi, uh, welcome to Informatica video cabin session. My name is uh, Nagaraja Rao, and uh, this uh, KB session speaks about the how to create the users, groups, and roles, and uh, privileges and permissions, and how we can assign the privileges and permissions to the users and groups. The main agenda of this uh, presentation is how to create the power center user, power center groups, the roles, and also the privileges and uh, the permissions. A new user can be created through Informatica Admin Console in the Security tab, as I shown here. In the Informatica Admin Console page, we have a Security tab. Once we click Security tab, you taken to the uh, screen where you can able to create new users. Uh, we can create new users by using the create user and also we can also see the uh, users the, who are already created and also you can able to create groups in the same page where uh, using the create group uh, facility and uh, you can also see the users uh, and the groups who are created already existing in the domain and uh, uh, roles also you can able to create new roles uh, using the create role uh, uh, facility and uh, you can able to see the existing roles uh, there are two different roles system defined roles and custom roles and uh, system defined roles you are seeing the administrator and in the custom roles there are various custom roles that are already defined and you can also create your own custom roles each custom role can be assigned a set of privileges if you see the power center developer as a one of the role where uh, this role has got uh, some privileges that are assigned to the service which is power center repository service um, if you come to the user administrator is the super user uh, he created by default when and the Informatica uh, is installed and uh, multiple users can be associated with the group users can have privileges assigned and uh, roles also assigned to the users like users we have groups a uh, groups can be created in the admin console security tab uh, a group can contain the uh, multiple users and uh, like as user groups can also have the permissions uh, and privileges assigned and roles also can be assigned to the groups um, as i said uh, there are uh, system defined roles and uh, custom defined roles and uh, uh, roles are uh, associated with the privileges of the individual services running in the domain uh, we can only able to assign the uh, uh, roles or privileges to the users on only uh, the uh, process, uh, services which are currently running. If you see, there are uh, three services that are currently running as I shown in the screen. Uh, as, I sh as, I, as I am showing in the screen, the one is domain service and two other are reported services. There are uh, so many other reported services which are not currently running. We are not able to assign the privileges to the services which are not currently running. Um, if I want to assign the privileges or roles to the user A, as I am showing in the screen, uh, I can go into the privileges and then uh, uh, there are roles tab and privileges tab. Once I go to the uh, roles tab, I can, there are uh, various roles, system administrator roles and custom roles. In the dom this is for the domain service and for the repository service they also there are uh, uh, system defined roles and custom roles for each service that is currently running uh, we can able to assign the different uh, roles and also the different privileges in this uh, in the roles tab we can we can able to assign the roles uh, to the user on that particular service if i want to Oh, assign some specific privileges to the user on some uh, some su some service then i can g get into the privileges tab and open the service and uh, this is a reported service 
where I can see there are different privileges like create folder, copy folder, uh, manage versions in the folder. Uh, I can I, I can assign any privileges by selecting the parent of the uh, each each of the sub privileges. Um, again. Uh, the domain database uh, the users and group details uh, maintained in the domain database starting from uh, a power center 86 and words uh, we are uh, uh, persisting the details of uh, users and groups uh, in the domain database uh, also the so the association between the users and groups also stored in the uh, domain database uh, prior to uh, 861 uh, in the 7x uh, power center architecture uh, we were storing the groups and as well as the users in the power center repository databases uh, report database but from uh, 86 onwards uh, we started uh, persisting the details of users and uh, groups in the domain database uh, privileges respected to the domain service also stored in the domain databases the roles that are respected to the domain service also stored in the domain databases. Uh, in the repository database, we only keep uh, the users and group references, uh, and also uh, uh, the user group relationships. We we also maintain in the uh, Power Center repository service repository database. Uh, users and groups privileges respective to the uh, repository service are stored in the repository database, and. Uh, uh, permissions uh, uh, respective to the uh, each user and group uh, also stored in the repository databases. The privileges, roles and permissions which are respective to the Power Center repository service are maintained in the Power Center repository database except that all the remaining details are stored in the domain service. Uh, if you have any feedback please uh, send uh, send a message or mail mail uh, mail to support videos at uh, informatica.com. Thank you.